Hi, so in this video again we are going to discuss about inserting n number of arithmetic means between any two given quantities. And in this video we are actually going to discuss about the formulas. So the people who like to remember formulas to find solution of a mathematical problem, uh, this will be very helpful to them. But I usually suggest to start from the first principles, start from the basics and use your intellect every time. And then everything becomes very easy. I always advise to follow the basics to find the solution for any problem. But we should know the formulas also. So let's derive the formulas to insert n number of arithmetic means between any two given quantities. So if we take any two numbers like A and B and if we have to insert n number of arithmetic means between these numbers A1, A2 are the arithmetic means till AN and B is the last term. And if A1 to AN are the arithmetic means and if I write them in between A and B in this manner then this will form an arithmetic progression. So this is the definition of inserting n number of arithmetic means between any two given numbers, right? The arithmetic means if we insert it should form an arithmetic progression, right? That is the definition. And how can we insert these numbers? To insert these numbers we have to find the common difference, right? We have to find d. And what we are provided with? We are provided with first term as a and we are provided with last term as b and we are provided with n also total number of terms what is total number of terms over here if we are inserting n arithmetic means between a and b then total number of terms becomes n plus 2 let's call this total number of terms as n1 and the first term as a1 just to differentiate then we have a formula for the last term. What is the formula for the last term? L is equal to A plus N minus 1 multiplied by D, right? And since here we have represented the first term as A1 and the number of terms as N1, I'm just writing in the same notations A1 and N1. It is the first term. and this is the number of terms right so in order to find the value of d if I substitute the value of l as b and a1 as a and n1 as n plus 2 right then we have this minus 1 multiplied by d right so from here if I bring this a to the left of equal to sign it will become b minus a is equal to n plus 1 multiplied by d plus 2 minus 1 makes plus 1 right and from here we will get d is equal to b minus a divided by n plus 1 right so if you have to insert n number of arithmetic means between two terms a and b then the common difference will be b minus a divided by n plus 1 so this is one formula to find the common difference right so we have got d is equal to b minus a divided by n plus 1 right and what will be this progression this progression will be written as general form of any arithmetic progression is a a plus d a plus 2d and a plus 3d and this continues right so if i substitute the value of d as b minus a divided by n plus 1 this progression will become a a plus b minus a by n plus 1 this will be the second term and the third term will be a plus 2b minus a divided by n plus 1 right and the third term will be a plus 3b minus a divided by n plus 1 
and this will continue till b right so this is the generalized form of the arithmetic progression when you insert n number of arithmetic means between a and b so this is the derivation of the formulas and to keep updated about the new videos we are uploading on MathSmart, you have to subscribe to MathSmart and for many more other topics, you can watch MathSmart. So, bye-bye.